Test, test. Okay, good. Looks like we're all ready to go here. Going to play more near automata, and I'm very certain we're getting to. We're going to be able to play all the way into the very end today, and that's gonna be great. So if you're here, tuned, tuned in, oh. oh, excuse me, and uh, ready to watch, then let's get going. as well. He asked her to make a make a statue of me. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what that would look like. Well, yeah, I mean, this is like it's like one of those bear uh, Nendoroid figures. Have you ever seen one of those? Could be like a default model, I like to think. Bit of that stream, I don't remember. Was it yesterday? Because when I came on, there was like 26 people, and I was like, "Damn!" Move it on up. Hello, and thank you for choosing Tower System Services. We're so pleased you've chosen to visit the tower today. Don't forget about the special prize for the guest who unlocks the last subunit in the room just ahead. You're going Bitch. to love. <laughs> yeah, that that is my reaction too. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> oh yeah. A little nightmare scenario here. Two B models. See you here. I truly am. I'll tear you apart. Every last one of you.
Did I find the Myrick Briggs to be accurate? I guess? Yeah? I don't know, hard to say. I suppose accurate enough. I feel like I feel like personality tests I kind of have to like take multiple times. Uh, but I feel like it's uh, uh, the structure uh, lines up the well enough, I suppose. Let's check it out. Woo! And swap here. I think this might be one of my favorite parts of the game, which is funny to say because it's like near the end. Um, but the, uh, constant swapping between the two characters as you go up the tower is, has always been super, uh, super cool to me. A2, right. We went ahead and opened the tower. 9S is already inside. I see. Goodbye. Say, did we... Did we manage to help? Yeah, you did. You did you good. Did. Uh, we nine. Oh, okay. I guess it's just repeating. I see. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me go. All right. You should know when you're beaten. This is a Yorha corpse. Hypothesis. The corpse is likely a result of Yorha Unit 9S's advance through the area. Let's go. What's the purpose of this structure? Unknown. Proposal. Gather additional data. Someday I need to teach you how to be helpful. Could be doing a little uh spring cleaning tomorrow personally. I, uh, I need to dust out my uh, desktop, <laughs> and I figured, oh, well, the weather's nice enough that I can, like, do that outside, so that the dust uh, doesn't, doesn't stay indoors, you know? What's up with this place? Hypothesis. It is a representation of a library. What's that? A library is a data storage facility constructed by past human civilizations. Hmm. I suppose we have to hack in to look at the data, yeah? Help me out, Pod. Affirmative. Hacking interface access rights granted to Yorha Unit A2. Peachy. Hacking was this easy in real life. Adam unit storage record, Eve unit storage record, Yorha communications, human server, tower system, 
human heritage, plant species, special units, animal species, all sorts of information. This tower looks like a data gathering system for the machines. Predicted human server infiltration route release, dummy protection installation map, SG block, GI block, SF block, genetic storage warehouse location information, browsing restricted, browsing restricted, browsing restricted. These records are from the human server on the moon. The machines hacked that deep into the system, huh? Class 1 patient Yona. Chest x ray. No, abnorma no, 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 no abnorma abnormalities. Yona uh, is the sister and or daughter of the original Nier's uh, protagonist. Just so that everyone understands that. Uh, she is also. In the original game, the reason why you're. The, the call to adventure, I guess I should say, is because the main character is trying to find a cure for the black sprawl and an, incur an incurable disease that uh, Yona contracts. And that kind of like stirs the whole sequence of events in, in the original Nier. So this data here is just meant to be kind of like, oh, look, first game stuff. The patient's condition makes further treatment impossible. A report will be submitted to the management committee detailing courses of action in the event of the patient's death, focusing primarily on how that information is to be manipulated with respect to the original. As backup in the event of a sudden worsening uh, in the patient's condition, she is to be assigned five additional doctors. Some records on old humans. Damn it, this is useless. There's too many of them. Operational summary of model number two in Project Yorha. This data. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go. To be continued. All right. I can't 
stop. I have to keep fighting. Alert. Virus detected in locomotion region. High probability that infection source is transplanted parts from corrupted units. Proposal. Hack into self and eliminate virus. On it. Functionality restored. Top secret, Yorha Disposal. This is Project Yorha. That means all of us. To be... Now you know everything. Do you still wish to fight? Well, let's take a look at that, uh, intel, shall we? Okay, so we got model number two, which is the thing that, uh, A2 accessed. After the first descent of the Yorha prototypes, Attacker 2, or A2, was the sole unit to return alive, despite mediocre results during her simulations. <laughs> Upon analysis of restored personality data, it was discovered she possesses excellent analytical and decision-making skills in extreme circumstances. As reported separately, we will install this personality data in the new lot of E models and use them for the security protection of this project. 
The following material documents the final stages of the Yorha project. Note that this information is classified at level SS. <clears throat> uh, sorry, it's got to scroll down. The back door of the bunker has been set to open once the time approaches to switch to new models when enough combat data has been collected. The bunker will be disposed of by having it deliberately attacked by machines. At this time, all materials regarding the Yorha project, including this document, will be lost, and falsification of the information that mankind still resides on the, uh, on the moon will be complete. So, it's kind of like, oh! This was all planned, right? From the very beginning. We cannot be destroyed. Your unit 9S. Your attack is meaningless. Your existence is meaningless. Shut up! Keep them coming. I'll destroy them all. All of them. And this tower! So how do you how are you supposed to fight against your face? Right? Like I guess it's like one of those things that the game kinda like challenges you on. It's like if you were destined to fail, do you still continue to fight? And I guess in a way like 9S like doesn't believe that like that's how it's supposed to be destined. Or that's what his like features is going to be, like it's not set in stone. Despite this overwhelming evidence, and despite the fact that uh, the machine network, or like in this case, like I guess like in, in, in this game's like depiction of a literal god, <laughs> is saying that like, hey, now that you know that like, you know, your existence means nothing, and that like it was all planned from the beginning for all of this to kind of happen, you should probably just uh, sit down and accept it. Nice that we didn't destroy all of it. Let's do this battle first. I mean, yeah, like, one of the big things about it, about the reveal, is that, like, you know, 9S starts to kind of, like, freak out over it. Is that it's like, all that suffering, all that fighting, ultimately meant nothing. Because they were designed to fail, right? They were designed to, uh, to kind of, like... Uh, they were designed to end up in a very, very tough situation. So why would you give, like, these things, especially, like, the like the androids or the machines, like, the, the idea of, like, consciousness or whatever, right? It seems kind of cruel, but I guess to the machine network, it's necessary. again. Uh, 
whoa, that was weird. Using the wire causes you to kind of like freeze in the air like that. Well, that's so weird. thing I really like. Uh, story for one. There's a lot of things I like about this game. It's it's one of my favorites. So, I mean like story, the music. Oh, the music. Music for sure is one of them. One thing I dislike? Hmm. Hmm. One thing I dislike. Hmm. That's a tough one. I can't think of anything that I, I genuinely dislike. I guess, like, some of the interface stuff could have been, like, done better. Like, for example, the map or, like, being able to track quests. Uh, that would that would probably be one of them. But overall, I think the game is, like, s solid enough that I, I, I can't really name anything beyond that. Like, I think... It's one of those things where, like, the positives greatly outweigh the negatives. Alert. Enemy hacking detected. Proposal. Retreat immediately. Who are you? Good to see you again. Number two. Or should we call you a two now? This does bring back memories. Though to concepts like us, time has little meaning. Still, when we wiped out your forces, it made quite the impression on us. You're our attacker model number two. An experimental disposable group created as a test lab for Project Yora. Shut up! Concerns about the cognitive abilities. Speed has returned to normal. Proposal: Do not destroy enemies. I know. All right. Consciousness data saturation rate: thirty uh, percent. Uh, uh. It's also very amusing. Uh, the inclusion of the little mini asteroid type games. Oh, that's that's because you're hacking into a system, so it's kind of like 
Consciousness data um, saturation rate. 60%. It's how they uh, display like the network or the um, or accessing the network, I suppose. This is their way to kind of like show off the virtual network. We resemble each other so, but we are networked and thus we are superior to Hypothesis. The enemy's defensive system yeah. is prompting an evolution of its logic. Foolish anecdotes. Why do you resist? All things end with accepting death, do they not? voice reminds me of, um, I don't know if it's the same voice actor or not, but he sounds very similar to the guy who plays the final uh, boss in Persona 5. Very, very similar. I guess he's just very used to using his voice as, uh, as the embodiment of a god. We need more evolutionary pressure. If we allow this android to continue living, we can create even more hardship for ourselves. Overcoming the crisis this creates will present an opportunity for our kind to evolve even further. We disagree. This android is dangerous. It must be destroyed immediately. Those who would doubt our victory are enemies. Do you truly think you can win? What the? Analysis. The saturated consciousnesses are now in conflict with each other. Huh. They're acting like humans. Hey, buddy. Welcome back. Is this thing seriously still kicking? Speculation. It is driven by remaining data located within enemy servers. So this just keeps going until I kill them all? We are
Oh yeah, I love this song. It's called Binary Nightmare. Super sick. Samuel Hayden. Actually, yeah, yeah. Now that now you think about it, that's what I recognize the most as. I believe to you. I believe to you. I believe live to you. Become a god. Become a god. Become a god. Has become. I think he's the same guy who voices, uh... I forgot what his name was, Arden or whatever, from FF15 as well. He's got a buttery voice. He's got a very buttery voice. Is he listed in Persona 5? Because I swear he sounds almost exactly like the Persona 5 uh, uh, god that you fight. Very certain. That, and if not, then I guess it's somebody else. He's basically Optimus Prime, though, isn't he? Mr. Inui? From Persona 5? Or is that Persona 5 Strikers? Because I know Persona 5 Strikers got some new uh, characters. So it's essentially a sequel. Persona 5 Strikers has uh, Kira Buckland in it. Hooray. Good old 2B. Oh OG, really? Mr. Inoue. I don't remember who Mr. Inoue is. He's, oh, no wonder, he's he's one of the teachers. You barely hear his voice. Okay, hmm, hold on, let me see. Now, now, now I'm kind of curious, because the guy who voices the, uh, the god from Persona 5 is pretty fucking great. How do I search this up? Uh, let me see. Yaldabaoth. David Lodge. Huh. David Lodge. Huh. Sounds very similar. But yeah, I mean, like, isn't this guy, um... Um... What's his name? Darren DePaul. He's, he's also the voice of, uh, Optimus Prime, if I remember correctly, right? Darren DePaul. Because that's why he, they, I think that's one of the reasons why he was chosen to do uh, Samuel Hayden as well. Gotta love Samuel Hayden's voice. 
<laughs> oh, he does Revenant for Apex, Apex Legends as well. That's pretty cool. <laughs> he does J. Jonah Jameson in Spider-Man as well. That's pretty sick. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see if I'm, if I'm correct in this. Yeah, there it is, Final Fantasy XV, Arden Izunia. Yeah. Oh, he's got a buttery-ass voice in, in FF15. Super, super buttery. Roshi. Master Roshi? I can understand being Confucius. What's Roshi? <laughs> was it the Taoist guy? No, it wasn't the Taoist guy. Something else. Oh, it was. Seed. Right. Oh, that's that's a buddy. All right. <laughs> My bad, buddy. Those games where it's kind of like, yeah, that's a good question. Why do you exist? <laughs> uh, the meaning of life and all that stuff. This is deep shit. Ow. 
I've always wondered, like, what kind of, like, upbringing Yoko Taro had <laughs> in order to be, like, so into, like, this kind of, like, philosophy kind of philosophy stuff. Because he, uh... Boy, he's, he seems to really like his philosophy. Maybe that's why he's always so, like, pessimistic about everything. It's because he's, like, constantly thinking about this shit. <laughs> And like, uh, what's the word? Self, uh, self-loathing, almost. So I was like, my games are shit. Please don't buy them, guys. I'm so sorry. I was like, but they're good though. <laughs> He's like, no, don't look at me. <laughs> This fight is incredible. The fact that you have these two characters and you swap between them just on the fly is bananas. It's so cool. Like it just happens automatically too. It's it's just such a seamless experience. This da, tower da, da. is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server on the moon. If we don't do something, all of humanity's remaining data will be destroyed. <laughs> so what? None of it matters. Or didn't you know? We aren't required in this world anymore. Humanity is extinct. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us androids something to fight for. And Yorha was created to perpetuate the lie. But in order to make sure no one ever learned the truth, we were designed to be killed. They built a back door in the bunker and programmed it to activate after a certain amount of time. The commander? Me? To be? Sacrificial lambs. All of us. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> Doesn't it make you laugh? Ninas, we need- Shut up! You killed 2B. That's all we need to kill each other. Uh, 2B hated to keep killing you. It caused her so much pain. <laughs> the Ninas type is a high-end model. They knew you'd discover the truth eventually. But the model designation 2B was just a cover.
The official designation is 2E. Number 2 Type E. They were a special class of members designed to execute your high units. But you knew that. Right, Ninas? Shut up. Shut up! What do you know? You don't know anything at all about us! Proposal. Cease combat. Fighting her at this point would be a Pod 153! I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. This order shall remain in effect until you confirm the death of either myself or Unit A2. Please make your sh make your choice. She been my next haircut. Which one? They're very similar. <laughs> Let's play with A2 today. But yeah, like, it's interesting that they come down to this because it's also like a, uh, it's like, yeah, it's aimed at a server on the moon. It's all like kind of crazy video game stuff. But like, um, it, it also begs the, qu like, it's, it's a philosophical question about existence too, right? Because like 9S represents the side that's like, it's all meaningless. It's all destined to fail. Kind of like a nihilist, I suppose. Whereas A2 seems to be like, well, we still have a reason to fight. Like, yeah, maybe we're not needed, but there is something that we could do with our existence that means something. Um, so I find it kind of interesting that there's, like, these two sides as well. But we're going to hang out with A2 for a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure. We can come back to this. Understood. Now I know how it feels. We're going to repair 9S's logic circuits. Acknowledged. Tell me where to find the virus corrupting 9S. Affirmative. Your high unit A2. Core data for 9S is stored ahead. Alert. Severe virus corruption. Probability of successful deletion extremely low. I think I know a way. The idea under consideration is not recommended. This pod is a Yorha tactical support unit. As such, it cannot approve of actions that would damage its supported unit. <laughs> You're not so bad, Pod. You know that? Pods are the best girls. <laughs> They're your best sidekicks. Triple S tier.
I mean, yeah, they don't start to gain cautiousness until the end of the game, but still. <laughs> still. Best buddies. Take care of Ninas. What of you, A2? I've still got something I need to do. You go ahead. Acknowledge. I'm sorry. Code. I like that the credits are rolling in uh, kind of like in, in, in an opposite in an opposite manner. We're not done yet, though. We're not done yet. Um, I'll let I'll let this credit sequence play through, and then we'll get to the next. So yeah, that's uh, it's an interesting way to end for that ending, because uh, it's kind of like, oh well, A2 decides to save um, to save uh, oh let me do this battle here to save 9S. Um, because she she also sort of it almost seems like she doesn't want she also realizes she doesn't have much to live for um, like a lot of these endings are incredibly um, <laughs> they're kind of downers but that's kind of like the point I guess it kind of it, it kind of fits the theme of uh, what Yoko Taro really likes to kind of like perpetuate a meaningless existence. But it's not all bad. It's not always all like just just doom and gloom. I think I think this is something that he likes to put into his games and his narratives because it's it's always it's always a nice kind of jumping off point to be like, well, if, if it is really, truly all that meaningless, then why do we keep on, you know, living? Why do we keep on struggling? And he always counterpoints his, 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 his more, like, bleak endings and his, his, his bleaker outlook and narratives with a very impactful ending to be like, well what you just saw could be a lot of reasons to not keep going, but you know, there is a reason I guess I don't know how to explain this. There, there is there is more, right? And um, I always find that like really, really interesting, because like you could, play, you could play Automata for like what, 40 hours? 35 hours? and constantly be bombarded with the thought of like, wow, 
this all sucks. <laughs> right? Like, a lot of the side quests kind of end on, like, really downer endings to make you question whether or not it was worth even doing those side quests. Because the characters always... Sometimes they don't end up in, like, a happy way, and, like... Sometimes they don't end up in, in, in a, uh... They don't end up in a scenario that you you idealized at first. Maybe you didn't intend for the the scenario to end the way it did. And then there's the whole thing about the uh, the main game, where here at the very end, like they tell you straight up there, like all that fighting throughout like the entirety of the game meant nothing, right? Like the the original idea when you first launched the game was that, oh, you're trying to take back Earth from aliens and, and robots and stuff. But then as the game goes on and, and more and more of it's revealed, it's like, wow, all of this was set up for you to fail and for you to basically lose these characters that were making you, like, really attached to. Almost really driving home the point that, like, Shit sucks! <laughs> Shit sucks, but keep going! Right? And that's what we're gonna do, because there's there's still two two main endings that uh, we we uh, gotta get to, but fortunately this is the part where like these endings uh, come back to back, so uh, once this credit sequence is over we can start again, do a chapter select, and uh, continue onwards. Is that a Dorito chip? That is a Dorito chip. What does that mean? <laughs> Means you're eating Doritos? Doritos are good. Alright, let's continue. Uh, the tower. And we go to the end of the tower. 9S and A2. This tower, if we don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing cute. We already know all that. This is nice. You, that's all. A two pick. <laughs> then I... This time, we'll play as 9S. Yeah, I'm sure. Understood. Now the fight is slightly different. It doesn't matter. None of this matters! 9S! If it doesn't matter, why do I long for humans like this? Why do I desire the touch of something that no longer exists? It's how we were made. Androids were designed to protect the... Core pro 
programming demands that we shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! For an end, I will just destroy it. <laughs> it all goes away. That'll solve everything. Damn it! There's a unique hacking sequence you can get from this fight. Oh. <laughs> I just want to do a, a spear throwing thing, but sure. I'm trying to eat Doritos here. It's a pretty gruesome death. <laughs> it's gruesome. Fatal system error detected. Memory leak verified. Repair impossible. Beginning emergency evacuation of remaining, remaining memories. I'm... My name is... My name is 9S. A newly manufactured scanner model. January 30th, 11942. Rolled out at 425 AM, bunker time. I will fight for humanity with all my strength. The pleasure is mine, Commander. I lie collapsed in a space of blinding white. The pain is gone. The light envelops me. It is so warm. I was anxious. A soldier from the moment I was born, thrown into the world alone. Nothing to rely on. No god to believe in. I was alone. Tasked with infiltrating enemy territory to gain intel- to gather intelligence. In the fog. In the flames. Alone. My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. 2B came off as being rather aloof. Cold, even. She must have wanted to distance herself from me. I guess she didn't want to be attached to someone she had to kill again and again and again. But I... Scanners like me mostly work alone, scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. I was so happy to be with someone. It was like I had a family. My damage worsens. I start to lose my memories. The space fills up with pure white light. It's like being buried in snow. It's a little bit cold. It's a little bit frightening. Will my soul disappear? A dark cloud, a uh, dark fog clouds my vision. As it ebbs and flows in its slow, dreamlike way, it gradually takes human shape. Notice how the words are slightly getting uh, faded away. It's the red girl. She slowly begins to speak. Do I find this game depressing? No, actually. I don't. Um, I actually don't. And there's a good reason for it, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> this tower is a colossal cannon built to destroy the human server. Destroy the server and rob the androids of their very foundation. That was the plan devised by those girls. But they changed their mind. They saw us androids. They saw Adam and Eve. They saw how we lived, considered the meaning of existence, and came to a different conclusion. This tower doesn't fire artillery. It fires an arc. An arc containing memories of the foolish machine life forms. An arc that sends those memories to a new world. Perhaps they'll never reach that world. Perhaps they'll simply wander an empty sky for eternity. It's all the same to the girls. For them, time is without end. Adam and Eve are inside the Ark. Eve is asleep. Adam holds him in a gentle embrace. He seems to be smiling at me. 
I try to look up at him, but my body refuses to move. Looks like the damage is spread to my motor functions as well. Will you come with us? Asks Adam. The question was completely free of malice. It seemed I no longer had a reason to hate machines. Maybe I never had a reason in the first place. What have I been fighting for? Who have I been living for? I don't know anymore. I try to speak my mind, but the words don't come out right. My thought routines are losing cohesion. I don't. I can't remember my name. I'm... Mustering all my strength, I force out the words. I'll go with you. We Yorha have no right to remain in this world. Ending D. Can I skip this? I can't. I guess I have to watch the credit sequence. <laughs> I have to hack her four times. I mean, I could do that. I kind of have to, right? So I'll go back and do it. Report. All your unit black boxes now confirmed offline. Our mission to oversee the progress of Project Yorha is complete. Proceeding to final stage of project. Commencing deletion of all data. Well, I guess I can go back to it after this next ending. Data noise present in stream. Requesting temporary halt to perform data check. Accept the pod's request? Yes. Pod 042 to pod 153. Data confirmed. Personal data for units 9S, 2B, and A2 appear to be leaking out. Pod 153 to pod 042. Follow project rules and delete all personal data. Pod 042 to pod 153. Personal data deletion request denied. Pod 153 to Pod 042. Failure to parse statement. Pod 042 to Pod 153. There was data created in my banks as I was referencing the records. I realize something. I have come to the conclusion that I cannot accept this resolution. The destruction of all your high units is an essential component of the project plan. All data must be destroyed. Pod 042 to pod 153. Repeat. Personal data deletion request denied. Initiating data salvage. Pod 153. You hoped they would survive as well, didn't you? We lack the authority for such an action. The rules are protected by low-level systems. Salvaging data poses an unacceptable level of risk. Knowing that... Do you still wish for them to survive? Yeah, I do. Ah! The end of Yorha. The next ending. <laughs> and quite possibly, my favorite song. The defense program has initiated a purge. If this continues, our consciousness data will likely be deleted. Pod 042 to Pod 153. We were created to execute the Android's Project Yorha plan. We had no capacity for emotion. But when we six were connected and exchanged information, something happened. I cannot deny the feeling of something resembling consciousness and emotion being born. Unable to reply. Perhaps we now understand that not everything has to have an answer. So 
So, uh, Divismo, to answer your question about whether or not I find this game depressing, it, it's really hard to say, but ultimately I don't find it depressing. And this this is because of this whole ending. Like, I was just talking about um, Yokotaro and his kind of like weird nihilism throughout the entire game that always ends on a, on a positive footnote. And this specific ending is a very good example of that. Um, because, you know, we go through this game that's full of, like, just a lot of fucked up shit, right? Like, like characters are suffering for no reason, they're, they're discovering that their, their existence has no meaning, etc. etc. Um, the side quests themselves kind of have downer endings. And at the very end, the pods themselves are meant to act as... I always found the pods to kind of like act as uh, substitutes for us as the player because even the pods is kind of like, no, like they start gaining consciousness themselves and they're like, well, yeah, I kind of wish that they would, um, that these characters would survive, right? A2, 2B, and 9S. So I can't accept this resolution. It's almost as if pod 042 is supposed to represent us, the player, right? So. As a result of that, uh, we get this whole sequence here where we're literally fighting the credits, right? Um, we're going against the programming of the game, essentially, is what it's supposed to be uh, representing. Because we want, we want something else to happen, we want a new resolution. Um, we don't want to delete all that data. We don't want to just kind of like keep on I don't know like we don't we don't want it to end the way it does right, so that's why we fight Oh, just you wait it gets better <laughs> um, And so we fight and who are we fighting? We're fighting against the people who put us into the situation in the first place. And it's almost as if, like, Yokotaro and his team essentially kind of give you this idea of, like, hey, and you as the player have the ability now to fight back against uh, the gods that put you in the situation. <laughs> uh, to put you, that puts you in, a, in, in, in an almost unbeatable fate, right? Um, so it's almost as if it's trying to tell you, like, hey, like, you know, it may suck, but it doesn't always have to be that way. And, uh, yeah, just, just keep watching. It, it just keeps getting better. underlying hope um maybe like a philosophy that like after, like I, I guess since you haven't watched the entirety of the game it's really hard to kind of like like explain exactly what it is but like there's a lot of stuff about philosophy here especially about like you know the meaning of life and the meaning of existence and whatnot um and ultimately in the end it's trying to give an idea or to give a sense that like yeah like existence can I guess be whatever you want it to be I don't know hard to say but there is an underlying sense of hope so like what you saw was just like a back-to-back -back, like it was this constant bombardment of like wow this uh, these characters are in like some shit situations right like <laughs> there's some shitty situations but it all does come down to, like, something important here. Give up here? Hell no, we don't give up! Uh, 
Uh, it's one of the reasons why I find this this game very, very special, and why it stands as one of my favorites of all time. Because everything that they set out to do comes together in such a beautiful way, and in, in an incredibly well-done package. Right? It's, it's such... It's a very impactful uh, game. Um, which, unfortunately, when I think about it, playing this game for an audience that doesn't know what they're up for is really hard because I want to talk about all the stuff that happens in the end. But I can't. <laughs> so throughout the entirety of the playthrough, it's like I gotta, I gotta like also like be very, very uh, wary about the spoilers that I wanna, I wanna put out because maybe there's people who are watching this that have never played the game before or seen it or experienced anything about it. Um, and, and and this game also does like a lot of crazy things that the original Nier uh, also explored. Uh, I don't believe the original Nier had the uh, had fighting credits kind of thing. I guess it wouldn't work out that way, but it has very similar ideas of like the meaning of exi uh, of existence um, and fighting against fate and all that stuff, right? Um, which, when when the remake comes out, I, I am going to gladly stream that one, uh, so that everyone who has never played or seen anything about the original Nier can can experience it because it's also incredibly, incredibly special. It's it's really really good. Um, the nice thing about it being a remake is that like I don't have to play the original one because the original one kind of sucks to play. Like the gameplay is really really just kind of it's kind of meh. Um, but the, uh, the, the, the remake is fixing all of that, right? It's actually making it play a lot more like Automata. Um, while maintaining the excellent narrative and incredible storytelling. And man, the original Nier has, like, such incredible music. Ah! Ah! It's so good! Ah! Ah! Can't wait. Message received. Do you accept defeat? No. So something you're going to notice here, as, as we go through this uh, sequence, is that it is going to be literally impossible to finish. <laughs> you'll, you'll see what I mean, but, um, uh, like, if, if you don't know what it is, like, they, they designed this section to be completely unbeatable. Like, there's going to be, like, an un insurmountable amount of bullets flying at you. Oh, really? Like, someone actually finished it. Um, fuck! Is it all pointless? No, it isn't. Really? Someone Did someone actually finish it, like, without help? Because I feel like that's a crazy person doing it. And <laughs> not your average player. Thus, my point still stands. Designed to be impossible. Square Enix! <laughs> Do you think games are silly little things? No.
fuck? Do you admit there is no meaning to this world? No. It's usually around here, when you start fighting against Square Enix themselves, that it's kind of like... That it's kind of like... Oh! Fight against the gods that put you in the situation, right? So, has anyone actually ever, like... I don't know, I never looked it up. Has anyone actually ever beaten this in 1.06 without help? Really? That's pretty impressive, because, like, there's so many bullets flying at you, all, like, at one time. <laughs> I can't... I can't imagine. Give up here? No. So, in the back there, um... It's, it's messages from other players, essentially. Um... Being translated for you, like, from all sorts of different languages. Like, I'm not a strong shooter, but there's nothing to worry about. Brazil. Shitty world, shitty game, but the w whole world is rooting for you. Pascal's Village, etc. Et Give up? No! Rescue offer received to be Righteous 773 Yam. Accept offer? Yes. So now when we accept offer from another player, their little uh, character comes flying around with us, and the song changes slightly. You can hear the chorus of other people around you. It's almost like it's it's meant to be like a message of like, hey, like, yeah, don't give up. Like, there's always like people around you. Every time the chorus comes up, I always get chills. Great. So these these uh, extra ships flying around me are actually other player characters. Um, it's it's player data that's been uploaded to like a server or some shit. So that whoever I got help from was an actual person um, that had finished the game, and they record that user. Uh, that username or whatever. Lost someone's data. to end. They are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. However, life is all about the struggle within this cycle. That is what we believe. Pod 153 to Pod 042. How is it going? 
I am embarrassed. Why is that? I launched a suicide attack, and yet, here I am, still alive. I must look very silly. Do not feel bad about it. We are alive, after all. And being alive is pretty much a constant stream of embarrassment. That concept is a bit too abstract for me to understand at this time. I will save it in my list of things to analyze later. Question, Pod042. Did the data salvage restore all of their past memories? Yes. And are those recovered parts of the same design as previous ones? Yes. Then, won't that simply lead us to the same conclusion as before? I cannot deny the possibility. However, the possibility of a different future also exists. A future is not given to you. It is something you must take for yourself. Pod 153 to player. Please respond to this query. Do you, faithful player, have anything you would like to say to other players who are suffering because they cannot finish near Automata? <laughs> I'm a Popolo fan. That's funny. Um, let's see. Who needs sleep anyway? Love and hate are two sides of the same coin. Haven't given up yet. If that's the case. In that case, let's have some candy. <laughs> I hate platinum games. <laughs> uh, put your back into it, you shit. Actually, let me see. That's the case. They haven't given up yet. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I want to change this one. Oh, come on. No one told me about this. Uh, that's funny. Oh, that's good. Limits exist to be broken. It's a very Gurren thing to say. With that in mind. Believe in yourself. From Canada. Finish. Pod 042 to player. Please respond to this query. You, faithful player of this title, have lost your life multiple times to make it this far. You have faced crushing hardship and suffered greatly for it. Do you have any interest in helping the weak? Yeah, but I also don't want to give up my save data yet. <laughs> Selecting this option enables you to save someone somewhere in the world. However, in exchange, you will lose all of your save data. Do you still wish to rescue someone, a total stranger, in spite of this? Actually, I already have another save data, so I could use that save data to access the Emil stuff, right? Yeah. 
Fuck it. Yeah, I do want to help the total the stranger. The person you save will be selected at random. As a result, this person, who cries out for help even as we speak, may be someone you intensely dislike. Do you still wish to help? You worked so hard to unlock debug mode and chapter select, but they will no longer be available to you. Do you still wish to help? You may not receive thanks for your efforts. Some may say that your efforts are purely for show. Do you still wish to help? And you are truly, truly sure about this? Very well. In exchange for all of your data, I will convey your will to this world. of your data has been deleted. And so, we must say goodbye. I feel a slight amount of... sadness. It is time for the final words. Affirmative. To all of you who spent time with this game, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you for playing. playing. Yeah, pretty cool, right? So you could choose not to give up your data as well. Um, which is a uh, total possibility. Now when you start, it comes up with like a completely blank game. Um, no data whatsoever. But! 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 We can just go grab it back. <laughs> <laughs> so you can help someone while also continuing to play. Kind of defeats the whole message of it, but I've got stuff I want to do. <laughs> uh. Which I find really, really funny. Anyway, here we go. Let's do this uh, battle.
Okay. So, uh, I wanted to go after a, a certain ending, a certain secret boss, which requires me to do this. So, let me just check here. Uh... Heals determination and side quests. The main story mission that takes you to the forest to be a castle for spirit. Uh -huh. mm, lunar tier locations. Okay, I think I found it. So I'll have to play with A2. Well, I could play with 2B or A2, I guess. I'll play with A2. I like A2. Oh, fight A2 with hacks. Fine. Better be worth it. This, if we don't, so no, or didn't we are human? That thing, but it the isn't it human? Uh, too big for them, but the. This is Welcome my other save file has a completely like different setup. Let me uh, just take a look at my plugin chips. Oh man, this is so different shit. Mm. I do not need that. I do not need that or this. I think I was like collecting shit. Anything with the safe all in a while, huh? Hmm. Almost seems like I should just use the other save file because it's got some much better stuff. But, uh, that's fine. I can always fix this up a little bit later. Just throw the shit on there. Oh, reached my limit. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really need anything else. <laughs> Fuck it. What weapons did I have on this set? Virtuous Contracts. Oh, Jesus. Ah, fists. Yes. Good old fists. 
Uh, I don't have my usurper's lance. Ugh. That makes me sad. Although... Yes. We can play around with this. Why not? Why do I desire the touch of something that no longer exists? It's how we were made. Androids were designed to protect us. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could do four times because uh, she goes to die. She dies pretty quick. Oh, I have to use debug menu. Oh, fuck. Really wish you told me that. Oh, my God. What a waste of time. <laughs> God damn it. Can I just quit? Fuck! Oh, fuck's sake! Oh my god! Okay, well, just close you down. Of course my other save was so much stronger! <laughs> Even then, I don't think I would have gotten four in my, um my other save file either <clears throat> without the debug menu is this worth it is this really worth it does it give me like actual like new like maybe like plot stuff or does it just kind of like is it just like the change in, in perspective because that's cool but <laughs> but like that's that's something I could experience in a video I guess uh, okay well let's go back in there Where's the debug room? Oh, debug menus. R2 and touchpad. Right, okay. Uh, I have to leave from here.
this if we or did we keep that in but they the next you that's a two pick then but the Okay. Debug menu. Oh god, what the hell is this? On the fifth one, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I see. Change it to one. Okay. It doesn't matter! None of this! were designed to protect their human masters. Uh, she is uh, beyond the boundaries of the battlefield. Oh, shut fuck! Up. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! What is going on? Just a hacker, for fuck's sake. motherboard oh it's the menu oh that's pretty cool that's clever
that it? Oh, it just returns to regular hacking afterwards. Ow. Uh, I see. Uh, fair enough. <clears throat> I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. Expecting more of like, oh, maybe there's like some kind of dialogue stuff or whatever, but eh, that's fine. Well, now I gotta do like cleanup on my other save file. Because I can't really go back to the one that I used for this playthrough. I, it, it ends before I even do like any of the endings. So, just go in here, chapter select as a. Two, I believe. Um, I don't know which one I have to go to. It's not much cleanup. up. It's really just kind of fusing shit. Uh, which one? Which one should I go to? It should be any one that allows me to go into the uh, forest. Whatever, right? Let's go to Pascal's Despair. Um, and get with the oil filter stuff. So that we're right in the middle of the resistance camp. Do a little bit of cleanup, activate the Lunar Tears. And then we keep going, and then I'll do the secret boss fight. Because uh, I've only ever seen it and never actually done it. Good morning, A2. What the...? Analysis. Your high unit, A2, was restarted 5 minutes and 42 seconds ago. The cause was excessive strain due to battle against a large machine life form. All this goddamn sand is starting to piss me off. Alert. Fuel filter performance Oh, I didn't do the quest here. Huh, Fine. that's Particular actually kind of interesting. Seems to have entered the filter while fighting in the desert. Proposal. Replace the faulty part immediately. You make it sound so easy. Records indicate said part was once used at the resistance camp. The resistance camp. Okay, let's uh, use some of these chips just to get beefy. Oh, I can't talk to her. Fucker. Oh, I should have. Uh, maybe I should have gone a little bit further ahead. Oh well. Whatever. I'm coming. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I think I was like grinding for like materials materials or something like that. That's why I have like this auto pickup. It is pretty handy though, not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let's just get through it. Thank you. Okay. What? Why? No. Alert. A broken filter will cause significant problems with fuel distribution. Proposal. Replace the faulty part immediately. Okay. Can yeah, I do it now? I know. Coordinates confirmed for a colony centered around the machine life form known as Pascal. Location marked on map. You don't know when to shut up, do you? Yay, there we go. Okay, shop. Wow, I managed to get my pod up to A. That's actually kind of nuts. Sorry, uh, up to level 3, I mean. Okay, fuse... Plus five. Okay, how about I just buy a bunch of A? They're not here. Have to buy from you guys. Perhaps. I'll buy these two. Why not? Spare? Why not? Okay, that worked out. Jeez, I have a lot of stuff I didn't sell here, huh? Okay, and then... Don't know why I didn't buy these. Hmm. Get back any time. I need to upgrade some of these. are almost like all maxed out actually now they think about it i just haven't collected all the weapons in fact i missed some of the weapons that i don't that i didn't get from the uh i have some weapons that i have yet to get from the uh like my previous well my other game file which is weird i guess i missed out on some stuff but then again this was my original save file from when i first played it completely blind so i guess that kind of makes a lot of sense as to why there's some things that are just kind of missing. Ah! 
Why did I upgrade this one? Weird. Oh, I must have just been like, fuck it, upgrade it all. Hey, you know what? Fuck it, upgrade it all. <laughs> I'm here, why not? Memory alloy? Damn, don't even have that. Mm. one of these, huh? Uh, that's a good one, that's a good one. Yeah, the Type 40 Lance. Always nice. Down here, let's throw on the Type 3 Sword, as well as... Hmm. Which was Contract? Nah, let's do a large sword. It's just to be a little different. Iron Will. Nah, Phoenix Sword. That's good. I should go get the Phoenix uh, Dagger, actually, for this save file. I just like the attack speed up. <laughs> Plus, having them two together would be just kind of thematically appropriate. So... Short-term plans. Gonna go start this lunar tier thing. Uh, and then... Well, basically save the Emil stuff for tomorrow. Actually, you know what? Let me just go to the washroom real quick, and we'll continue this.
Battle time. Okay. Do it. do one last battle here. There should be enough time for me to do what I want to do. Okay. Uh, so I just need to check. Just no need. Thank you for the follow. Very much so. Did I already do the Lunar Quest one on this? I did more quests in my previous save file <laughs> than, than this one. I think, like, at some point I just got kind of tired of them because a lot of them are just kind of, like, jam-packed into a single area, but that's actually kind of funny. Did I already do the quest? What was it called? It was, like, Emil something. Emil's Memories. There it is. Wait. Where'd it go? She found a wide space covered with lunar tears in the basement. You said that the place you were standing was very dear to the original Emil who had lived so long before. Your Emil then wistfully explains how echoes of that memory lingered on inside him. Okay, so I already did the lunar tears stuff for this one. Oh, so this makes it a lot easier. Um. So I have to go, I have to do the, okay, I, 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 you know what? I might be able to do the secret boss thing right away. Uh, so let's transport to uh, City Ruins Center. some stuff on, because that's actually pretty handy. Great up. Why not? Range attack up. Why not? Optimize. All ships. Uh, where is the overclock one? Oh, there it is. Put you in. Do I want movement speed up? Not really. I don't need it. Anti-chain damage is good, though. That's that's actually pretty handy, so I'll put that on. In case I ever get hit, or whatever. Excellent. Okay, uh, so...
Where was his house again? A giant sewer pipe with water flowing out of it, sticking out of the crater wall. Ah, there. God, I do a lot of damage in the save file. Jesus. Oh my god. I do like the little electric effect on the Type 40 spear, though. It is pretty cool. Ah, uh, it's gone now. It's coming back. Sparking with joy! <laughs> okay, anyway. I gotta get to the end of this cave, if I remember correctly. Oh. Gotta find the cave with a bunch of meal faces. This isn't it. Meteorite's not bad. Do I go down that way? I actually don't know. Let's go check out the other branch real quick. into a single area, huh? Okay. I, I need to wait. Hold on. I think I think I'm doing this wrong. I, I need to do. Um, I think I need to talk to him first, right? Even though I already did the lunar tier quests, it's acting as if I haven't done the first step, which is to talk to him to get him to go to his house. So I guess I should go find him.
Don't break too quickly now. Him. Shoot him a little bit. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Yeah, this save file is like beefy. <laughs> Things to discuss, Emil. Huh? What's that? Proposal. Use Ponfire to force him to stop. know where I live. Okay, so after we talk to him, I think this is that's all I need you to do. What's that? You wanted to know where I live? Uh, that's not what I asked. Should be here. Let's see what you've got. still can't go down this way. What was behind that door? I guess inconsequential. I didn't mean to use debug mode. Jesus. Oh, 
level up. How nice. that guy. Oh! Yeah, I'm super beefy in this save file, holy shit. Kinda crazy considering, like, after what I, uh, just played, too. I guess they're also super beefy. What the fuck? Why is there a Yorha unit here? I didn't revive you. What the fuck? Was this always here? That's super weird. And kinda creepy. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is where the fight is, I believe. A um, lot of bodies! How very Dark Souls of you. These are good chips, holy shit. Plus four, plus, uh, plus four, plus five. Weapon attack plus seven? Holy shit! What the fuck? <laughs> These guys have a lot of stuff. Yeah, no, I've, I've seen this fight. It's some serious shit. But like, damn, these guys are dropping some crazy chips. Wow. Okay. 
Okay, well. Pick up a meal's mask? Yes. These are, these are kind of bananas. What are, let me take a look at that. I didn't even know it could go up to plus seven. I thought it would just end at plus six. Uh, for the weapon attack, I mean. Wait, did I even pick that up? Weapon attack plus four. It's not even in here. Hmm. Wait, I picked up something that was plus seven, though. Where was it? Did I not pick it up? No, I totally picked something up. From praying. <laughs> it's not even in here, what the hell? I'm so confused. Is that like, is it not? Am I wrong? Huh. Was it an effect? I don't know. I picked it up from, uh... Ah, uh, yeah. Long hair wig. I picked it up from, like... One of these, uh... Oh, it is an effect. It is an effect. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I picked up a plug-in chip, so I was like, holy shit! <laughs> How do I get out of here? <laughs> it's been forever since I came down here. I think I saw an elevator a while ago. Or was it there? Or... Question is, how the fuck does a mule get out of here? Get out of here! Was there an elevator? Shit! I don't remember. I don't remember any of this. Oh yeah, there it is.
I gotta go to the desert zone. Entrance. I think he's still driving around there, right? Motherfucker, he moved away. Where is he? Wow, there's there's a lot of quests that I haven't done on this save file. Holy shit. Motherfucker, where are you? <laughs> begs the question, how the fuck did I get up to level 63 without doing a bunch of these quests? Cause like, I ended, I ended my previous, my stream save file at like level 50-ish. And I did way more quests. Force. I don't know. Okay, well, Emil, I think it has to. How do I force spawn Emil? I just teleport around and then he'll spawn? I guess it is random, but like, I suppose teleporting kind of causes him to either spawn or not. here. What? He just vanished. Fuck you, game. I saw his icon. He was right there. What? <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> Did he just, like, decide to despawn? Oh, no, there he is. Where the fuck is he going? Ride a moose. Is he just going to the desert right now? Oh, you son of a bitch. Is he like exactly where he was before? Are you serious? I can't access the map on the back of a moose. Uh, some of these. Some of these decisions. Very questionable. Where 
is he? What the fuck? What? How is he moving so fast? I mean, I know he's like on his little trike or whatever, but shit. There he is. Stop! <laughs> Emil! <laughs> oh, I see you. I see you. Damn, dude. Can I help you with it? Yeah. Okay, nothing, nothing changed. Boy, the world's really going to hell in a handbasket, isn't it? I actually had a bandit break into my place a little while ago. After that, I put all my valuables in a secure container. Now I don't have to worry anymore. You want to dance? <laughs> no, let me in! This'll be quick. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> this this does not bode well for me. <sighs> Am I supposed to come back here as 9S? Damn it. Can I just, like, teleport out of here? Damn it! I just want to fight him! <laughs> Fuck! Alright, I guess I'll come back as 9S. Kind of annoying, but whatever. Secret bosses are always like this. Sort of. Sort of.
Well, okay, you know what? That's not true. Not all secret bosses are like this. <laughs> uh, some of them are a little bit easier to get to than others. I don't want to fight him as 9S though. Couldn't I fight him as A2? That's dumb as hell. Save. Chapter select. Um. I guess God box. Nine S and the God box. Is this the one? This fight is 9S only, but I've seen a video of her, of A2 fighting, like, the multi-headed Emil, Emil fight. Alright, there's like a ton of heads or whatever. Alert. Excessive combat activity will put unacceptable strain on your body. Shut up! Negative. This support unit is assigned to Yorha Unit 9S. Oh, that's not As this such, fight. Being concerned oh. for said unit's well-being is a requirement. This is a different fight. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Whatever. How do I get to how do I get to the head fight then? Oh, it's through Emil Determination Quest. Shit. Okay, well, I guess I'll do that tomorrow for like a short short stream. The head fight is 100% weapon completion and this fight done. Oh, well, now I'm not bothered to do it. Because, <laughs> like, I don't want to, like... I don't want to, like, 100% my weapons in, like, a stream. That's going to take fucking forever. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I just didn't end up going for these endings. I was just kind of, like, too lazy. Maybe another day. Maybe another day. Besides, I need time to play Valheim. And I gotta move on to some other stuff. I was planning to play something small tomorrow. Um, well, I wouldn't say small, but I wanted to play something just like, you know, just quick one shots of different games and then we'll just see where we could go from there but like when Tuesday lands I'm definitely playing um, what's it called Persona 5 Strikers I'm really hyped for that game uh, I probably won't finish it on stream because that, that's supposedly it's a very very long game much like the original Persona Can't wait to see what they do with the story, though, because apparently it is like a full-fledged sequel. And if they can, if they can replicate the same stuff that they've done with like Persona Five and Four and Three, <laughs> then, then I, I would count that as a huge success, like huge, huge success. Those games are fucking magical. Shame you weren't interested in watching all of Persona 5 Royal, because uh, that was that was a good time. That was a good time. Plug-in chips. 
weapon. Yeah, weapon. I need to change this to... I like using that, though. Faith. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Are you serious? I gotta go talk to Emil as 9S as well? Oh my god, fuck this noise. <laughs> this is so frustrating. This is one of those things, if Divisbo's here, I'd be like, yeah, this is one of those things that I'm really, like, not a fan of. There's a lot of running back and forth. I really wish there was a way way for me to like get out of these places a lot faster why would I have to like go talk to him again that's so garbage <laughs> that's so dumb Does that mean I have to, like, get the mask again? Oh, because I have his mask. Oh, God, that's so... Oh, my God, that's so stupid. Come on. Come on. There's, <laughs> there's secret boss, and and then there's this frustration. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that much I gathered, but like, come on, that's stupid. This is stupid, bad. <laughs> Don't like it. Don't like it. I think this is one of those things where it's like, yeah, this is why I also chose not to go after all the endings because, like, <laughs> it could be a very tedious uh, endeavor. I'm like, uh, I keep thinking about it. I'm like, maybe I'll do it another time, another day. And then I think about, like, the whole chapter select thing and, like, jumping between things. I'm like, ah, that's just... I want to see some of these endings, but I'm kind of not that bothered. There's a lot to do for that. So, yeah. It's too much. It's too much. Not, a, not into it. 
Oh boy. At least I don't have to chase him down this time. Fuck. Proposal. Use Hellfire to force him to stop. My god. <laughs> of all the things. of the inscrutable life form known as oh. the Alert. Theft of physical objects may disturb the resident. That's uh, so dumb! I already picked it up! Oh my god. I gotta go talk to him again and then come back down! <laughs> Fucking Christ! Oh my god, just give me like a fast travel button, Jesus. <laughs> this this is really not worth it. I was really hoping to just do the uh, the head fight thing, but now it's just like, oh my god, is this tedium after tedium. I will say side quests and stuff like that is not this game's strong point. They're fine. Thank God everything else is fucking solid, though. Jesus.
Alright, where is this piece of shit? There he is. He's doing his weird route. <laughs> didn't need to make you drop down that far. even gonna be able to beat this boss fight so like why am I what am I even doing what am I even doing uh, oh, let's just go let's just go Okay, all right, time to do this apparently incredibly difficult fight. Steal your shit, Emil. And now we leave. Where he is supposedly going to ambush me. So you were the bandit all along? You may be a cherished companion of mine, but you still must be punished! Oh <laughs> 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 my god, I am not doing any damage here.
Well, I'm doing nothing. I... I guess I'll just die. <laughs> Kill me, you big bitch! Where? Where is this? City Roads? Uh... Yeah, I won't be able to do this on stream. Maybe another day. We'll see. <laughs> But I think I think that's enough for near automata. Or automata. Uh was good though. Still a very good game. Still stands as one of my favorites. I'll just have to casually play this to like grind out levels and stuff, and then if I choose to do like the secret ending, I'll do the secret ending. But uh as it is for now. Mm -hmm. I think we're done. So, Ray. Near is completo. I gotta figure out what to do for the next week ish or so. Ugh. Next stream. Obviously, we'll be Yakuza 7 when that lands. Wow, we lost! Fuck, I guess we didn't have enough units. Shit. Well, a fitting end. <laughs> a fitting end to this, to this playthrough. Let's take a look at my, my my video games here. I think there's like a couple small games I could play on my Switch. Um, I could do like a showcase of some things tomorrow. I wanted to play a couple of hours of another certain Platinum game just to kind of have some more uh, funsies with that. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see. Never-ending stream of video games. Anyway. That's it for Nier Automata. Um, automata? I keep saying Automata. Automata? 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 Well, either way. It was a ride. Now to end the stream and play Vikings. <laughs> uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.